All right, let's talk sway bar linkage. I think it was optional on this model. So I'm gonna take it off to try to get some weight off the front. And it connects right there. And then it's this piece and then also on the other tire. It might affect stability at high speeds, but I go pretty slow in this truck, so it shouldn't be an issue. If it is bad, I'll go ahead and put it back on. So let's get started. All right, starting on the passenger side, it's a 18 millimeter on both sides. All right, on the driver's side, it's uh, also an 18, and I put a adjustable wrench on the other side to hold the nut. It'd probably be easier if you took the tires off, but it takes more time, you know? All right, as far as this part, I'll put a little jack in the middle so it won't fall down. Uh, it's 18 nut but it's a bolt so you got to put a 15 on top so it won't spin on you. All right, we got all six bolts disconnected. Let's see if it drops right down. All right, cool. I might have to wiggle it out a little bit, we'll see. All right, we got it out and we got it on the scale. We have the six bolts we took out. I was guessing 20 pounds, but it's actually 26 on the dot. All right, not bad. And uh, I'll add up everything we've taken out so far. See how much we've lost. But before we go to the spreadsheet, let's do one more weight reduction. We're gonna swap out the heavy tailgate for one of these mesh tailgate thingies. Mythbusters said that uh, this actually helps with miles per gallon. And I know for sure it helps with acceleration because, well, it's lighter, so it should help with braking as well. So let's get the tailgate off and go weigh it. Okay, so in order to remove the tailgate, we'll remove these cables. And then there's a notch on this side where you'll have to turn it a certain angle, about 45 degrees, and then it'll slide out on the right side first and then you pull it out of the left side. So let me pause for a moment. All right, on the scale, we got 63.6 pounds. What? Yeah, it's fluctuating. 63.6 .6 is what we'll say. All right, well, this bully kit has these tiny brackets and I thought I could take out this tailgate holder, but it's a little too big for that. I'm probably gonna go to the hardware store tomorrow and get some uh, bigger brackets versus drilling these out. It does have self-tapping screws, but I mean, it's kind of in the same area, so I'd rather just reuse the same holes we got. All right. Well, I haven't installed the cargo net, but that's going to be the end of this video. As far as the weights go, we started out at 4,780 pounds. Tire alone, we lost 58 pounds. With the smog and the jack stuff, 18 pounds. Sway bar delete, 26 pounds. And the tailgate was 64 pounds bringing us down to 4,614 for a total loss of 166 pounds, which is pretty good, but um, I really want to get below 4,500, so we're going to keep making videos. Hopefully we can get below that and further. Thank you.